unyakuzi wa ardhi ni swala ambalo huenda hivi karibuni litawacha maelfu ya watu matatani kufuatia amri ya waziri wa mazingira Kiriako Tobiko kuwa zaidi ya ekari 1600 zilizonyakuliwa zitatwaliwa the original size of this um, uh, forest when it was declared uh, 1932 7000 acres as we speak now the balance is less than 1000 acres so 6000 uh, acres over time have gone tobiko anaonya kuwa pindi tu huwa litakapowezekwa ili kuashiria mipaka ya msitu wa ngong itakuwa ni vigumu kutoka nje ya msitu huo na hali itakuwa hivi so we are not going to bother really with anyone that that, that oh, please no so we will proceed immediately to start fencing and we'll fence you in mm-hmm. right we'll fence you in so you get out and we will once we have done that release the animals <laughs> kwa sasa utajipiga kifua kuwa unastakabadhi halali japo swala ibuka ni kuwa serikali ina idhibati kuonyesha huenda mkataba wako ukawagushi na hivi basi jengo lako litabaki hadithi tu Whoever has a purported title knows that that title is not worth the paper it's written on So we are not going to bother really with anyone that that, that oh please no so we will proceed immediately to start fencing Now the directives that we have from the president was forthwith immediately starting today to move in and reclaim all areas of this forest other than other than the areas that were validly lawfully excised for a public purpose. Baadhi ya maeneo yatakayoadhiriwa ni kama vile gereza la wanawake la Langata, hospitali ya St Mary's Bomas of Kenya pamoja na kambi ya wanascout ya Rowland hata hivyo maeneo ya soko la Dagoreti pamoja na mbuga ya wanyama ya Nairobi yataponea a number of those um, plots have been built on uh, you have areas that have um, um, high um, apartments estate uh, business premises and so on and so forth Madhara ya kumaliza misitu nchini huenda yakatokea miaka ya baadaye. Kwa sasa wananchi wanaombwa kutii amri na kuhakikisha kuwa kila unaponunua kipande cha ardhi hakikisha ni halali. Ben Kerera K24 Weekend